Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write a C++ program to convert a binary value to its corresponding decimal equivalent. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only 3 of us subscribe. But the 95% of my audience is not subscribed and your subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So we have to write a C++ program to convert a binary value to its corresponding decimal equivalent. Okay. So then first example, we have the binary string as 1010. The data type we use to store binary value is string, string of zeros and ones. Okay. And the data type that you use for uh, decimal value are int. Okay. They are able to store integer type values. Okay. So for 1010, we have output 10. Okay. The decimal equivalent of 1010 is 10. For 10000, the decimal equivalent is 16. Okay. And so is that. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you about the conversion, how you convert a binary value to its corresponding decimal equivalent. Okay, I'll tell you briefly about the two number systems, the binary number system, the decimal number system. Okay, and then I'm going to write the code to convert binary to decimal. Okay, I'm going to use two methods to convert binary to decimal. The second method involves bit manipulation that we will look at the end of the video. Okay, we have our binary number system. Okay, and we also have our decimal number system. Okay, so decimal number system is the number system that we use into our day to day lives. Okay, for example, numbers 7, 16, 10, 18, 125, 77. Okay, and these numbers are very, very, very comfortable for us because we use them in our day to day lives. Okay, but technically they belong to decimal number system. Okay, let me explain more. The word deci means 10, okay? And in this number system, we use 10 symbols to represent any quantity. That is 10 symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Using these symbols, the one, what we call digits, we can represent any quantity in decimal number system, okay? Any possible quantity and that's what we know, okay? That's what we are comfortable with, okay? So the base, there is something called the base of a number system, which is 10 in this case, because we are using 10 unique different symbols for representing a quantity. Okay. So if I want to write 7 in base 10, I write it as 7, parenthesis, then subscript 10. Okay. If I want to write 16 in base 10, I do 16 in base 10. Okay. That's the formal way of writing this into uh, a given, num given number system with a base 10. Okay. Then we have binary number system. The word by means two. Okay. It means we are using two symbols to represent any possible quantity. The two symbols are zero and one. Okay. And when you think of it, you think, okay, no, two symbols are two less to represent any quantity. It is not. Okay. You can use seven symbols, eight symbols. Eight symbols is called oct octal number system. 16 symbols is called hexadecimal number system. Okay. So using two symbols, just zero and one, we can also represent any quantity. Okay. And base for binary number system, you can Yes, it is 2 because it is using two symbols to represent any quantity. Okay. So we have 7 in base 10 is equal to 111 1, 1 in base 2. We know that. 16 in base 10 is 1000 0, 0, 0 in base 2. Right. Okay. So how do we convert this given binary value to its corresponding decimal is the question. Okay. So let's take the value 1010 1, 0, which is in base 2 equal to 10 in base 10. Okay. So the method is you take the bits. Okay. And write them separately. Okay. Of the binary value that you want to convert to decimal. You multiply each of these value by 2. Okay. And then provide these values powers starting from 0. Provide these 2's that you multiply them to power 0 from right to left. So this gets power 0. 1, 2, 3. Okay plus 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 okay so 1 into 2 to power 3 is 8 plus this is 0 so this value is 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 is 2 plus this value is 0 okay so 8 plus 2 10 and that's how you convert a binary string to its corresponding decimal value okay let's do another one for say 1 1 1 1 1, one 0 1 in base 2 is something in base 10 okay so I say 1 
1, 1, 1, 1, 5 ones, then 0 and 1. Multiply all of them by 2. Okay, I know the value. This should be 125. But let's calculate and find out. Okay, power 0, power 1, power 2, power 3, power 4, power 5, power 6. Plus, 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 plus. Okay. Okay, so 2 to the power 0 is 1, so 1 into 2 to the power 0 is 1, plus this is 0, plus 2 to the power 2 is 4, plus 2 to the power 3 is 8, plus 2 to the power 4 is 16, plus 2 to the power 5 is 32, plus 2 to the power 6 is 64. Okay, this is 96 plus 16 is uh, 112, 120, 124, 125. So, this is 125 in base 10. Okay, and this is this method is exactly something that you code in a problem. Okay, so I write a method, okay, int binary to decimal, okay, takes a string binary value, okay, my int decimal value is 0 and we return finally the decimal value that we calculate, okay, what we did in our method was we multiply each bit which is 1 into 2 to the power the power. Okay, so the power has to start from 0 and it goes from right to left in increments of 1. Okay, so I say for int uh, i is binary value dot length minus 1, i is greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. Okay, and we do in each iteration power plus plus. Okay, we get the ith bit as binary value of i if bit equal to 1 okay so if bit is 0 it does not contribute to our sum if bit is 1 only then it contributes to our sum so I say decimal value plus equal to pow so for to use pow I have to do include math dot h is included as c math oh c math okay pow of 2 to the bar power okay and you can cast this as int okay because power returns a double value okay and that is your code okay so i'll take some string binary values okay i will take say one 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 uh one zero one zero then i'll take uh one 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 zero one okay one zero one zero already taken one zero zero okay I have four values, I will say int num binary values is four. I am going to write a loop, below i less than num binary values, i plus plus, I say string binary value is the ith value, okay, and I print, okay, this particular value, okay, binary value in base 2. Okay, base 2 basically I have to print a character in subscript 2. Base 2 is equal to the corresponding decimal value in base 10. So I say binary to decimal pass this binary value okay in base 10. Okay, I have to write base 10 here in subscript. Okay, so this is my code. Let me just compile and run G and address. Okay, so 111 is 7, 1010 is 10, 111, 01 is 125, that's what I showed you, and 140 is 60. Okay, so this is your method to convert binary to decimal. The other method is using bit manipulation. Okay, so if I have, okay, say 111, I want to find the decimal value. Okay, this is 7. Okay, how do I do that? So we know that if I do int x equal to 0, now this integer value is represented as 32 bits, okay, behind the scenes in the compiler in program, okay, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, bit 0, 1, 2, 3 till 29, 30 and 31, okay, 32 bits representing this value. If I say int x is equal to 8, okay, this is represented as 32 bits and binary form of 8 which is 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, the word 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on till 29, 30, 31. Okay. 
all right so for x equal to 8 bit number 0 1 2 3 is 1 okay similarly if i say int x equal to 7 it is represented as okay 1 1 1 bit 0 1 2 3 4 till 29 30 and 31 okay so bits 0 1 and 2 are 1 okay so if i have this bit string i should be able to set the corresponding bit indices starting from x equal to 0 to get this value what i'm trying to say is if i have x equal to 0 right x equal to 0 i have all zeros okay in my binary string i have bit 0 1 2 okay starting from right to left and these are all 1 okay so if i am able to set the corresponding bit indices to 1 bit 0 is set to 1 this is set to 1 and this is set to 1 so i get okay bit 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay I get this as my bit string, okay, which will make the integer value to 7, all right. So what I have to do for a given bit string, I have to set the indices where I find 1, okay, to corresponding bit indices to 1 and I should get my integer value, okay, all right. So if I write my method, I make this binary to decimal 1, okay, binary to decimal 1, okay, I write a method in binary to decimal okay all right i start with int x equal to 0 i iterate this binary string from right to left okay i don't have power in this case okay and i have something called int index equal to 0 which is incremented index plus plus that is if you go back to our example okay your index where you find your first bit on the right hand side Okay, this is 0, then 1, then 2. So, this is the index value. The value i is to iterate indices of the string. Indices of string. Okay, this i and this index are different. Okay, so I get again the bit as money value equal to 1. Okay, again, if this is bit is 1, okay, I have to set the ith bit in x to 1. Okay, and I have to finally return x. Okay, now setting the ith bit means bit index i is set to 1 in x. So, for that we write a function int set ith bit. Okay, I pass n and I pass, and I pass i. Okay, so sets the bit index i to 1 in n and returns the updated value. Okay, so this comes out to be n or 1 left shift i that is if i am given a value say n is equals to say 8 okay all right so 8 comes out to be 0 1 0 0 0 with 0 1 2 3 4 and all these uh, zeros 29 30 31 i have to set bit 2 so i have to set this bit Okay, so I should get something like 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 till 0, 0 and bits should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 30 and 31. Okay, so what am I doing? I am actually shifting 1 left to i and oring with n. Okay, so 1 left shift i, 1 is basically this, the last bit is 1. So, bit 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. 29, 30, 31. This is left shifted i. I have i as 2. This is left shifted twice. Shift, left shift this twice. So, it comes here. Okay. So, 1 left shift twice becomes 0, 0, 0. So, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So, bit 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, at index 2. So, bit 0, 1, 2, 3, 29, 30, 31. This is what we have right now. Okay. 1, 1 left shift 2 and you or with the given n okay you or with the given n so you or which is plus with the given n which is this okay so this is 0 0 bit 2 is 1 and 0 0 okay when you or this 0 plus 0 1 1 0 0 you get this value so this it retains its original bit string and it also sets bit 
2 to 1 which we want. Okay, this is the value that we are returning. Alright, so this value is basically n or 1 left shift i. Okay, which is actually setting the ith bit in n. Okay, so going back, okay, setting the ith bit in n. Alright, oh, it's almost sunset. We are almost done as well. x is set ith bit in x at index index okay not i this i is bit index here this i is iterating the indices here this i and this i is different and index is the index bit index which you want to change that's why we are sending this value okay okay so let me just compile and run this before it is totally sunset okay oh i have to call binary to decimal 2 okay all right so compile again and run okay so 111 is 7, 1010 is 10, this is 25 and this is 16, the same output that we had in a previous case, okay. So this is an alternate method to convert decimal to binary, we are just using bit manipulation in this case, okay. So I hope this was helpful and you like this video, okay. So if there is any doubt or is there a, if there is any part you don't understand, please let me know in the comments, I always try to answer all your queries in the comments. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments and thank you for watching.